This particular block, right in the very center of downtown, was probably the most compromised and troubled block in the city. All the brokers said, guys, don't go there. So he said, let's go pick that one to <laughs> land on. Group Place is a world-class office building by a legendary developer in downtown Houston. But behind its unique signature on the skyline and prime location in the city's now bustling Main Street corridor right next to a light rail hub is the story of a gutsy play in a nasty part of town in the middle of a financial meltdown and an office building that resuscitated a neighborhood and is leading a movement changing the center of downtown Houston. This site was written up in the Houston Chronicle as the most blighted block in Houston, Texas. If this block could be rejuvenated in a really substantial way, it would have a tremendous ripple effect on downtown. What, what we looked at is, yeah, there's probably any one of 75 blocks downtown that someone could put a million square foot building on. But in reality, there were about four or five blocks that were appropriate to put a million square foot building on. It needed to check many, many boxes. It's in the center of our rail system that's continually developing. Something that is still critical is a good connection with the tunnel system. It's walkable to air all the key buildings in downtown. This could be an urban campus, and it can truly be transformative. It can be transformative to what has become the center of downtown. To accomplish that, we needed to put together a number of separate owners to get the site under control. There was a hotel on the block that needed to be removed. The Montague Hotel, which is the one that was really, really tough, I think it was $20 a night for a room, $25 with a TV. Hines went into construction in March 2008. The goal? to build it, lease it, and sell it. Easy enough. The vacancy rate was very, very low yeah. at the time, and it looked solid. Ran into a... Ran into a bit recession. of a storm. Yeah. yeah we, we ran headlong into a storm. We got what was referred to as the last large construction yeah, loan yeah. in America. We went for about 24 months with no leasing activity at all, and it was a pretty scary time. Then, BG Group called. Ultimately, we just needed to get some momentum. Heinz cut a deal with the growing international natural gas company looking for a new U.S. base headquarters with the capacity to expand. Let's face it, we had some room to expand it. <laughs> the building was completed in 2011, and the leasing momentum continued with its increasingly desirable location, striking architecture and amenities. What's challenging is to take a building that could have just been another office building and through a few careful, thoughtful decisions to do a building that contributes to the character and quality of the city, to the streetscape, and to the users in the building. The crowning feature of BG Group Place is the notch, a cutout near the top that defines the building's profile and serves as a valuable amenity. The theory was you create something special and that will be desired. The creation of what I refer to as the Sky Garden was another idea, which is, is there a way to create an amenity which will add value to the building to tenants, a place that a tenant will want to go. The building's cutaway corners also add to the building's signature and function, providing eight corner offices per floor. Getting the column out of the corner makes for a richer experience for the individual who happens to occupy whether it's an office or an open space. The one space, space you want to go to is a corner. You want to go to the corner. There, it? It just, it's just not the same. Distinguishing BG Group Place from the ground is a dramatic lobby, adding value for tenants and to the streetscape. It's a way to communicate to the tenants that, um, that the building is, is respected, that they are valued. And one of the things that it's surprisingly simple but very powerful is simply the majesty of the height of the space. If people are going to pay you a top of market rate, they need to have all the things that their employees want. It is driven by anyone recruiting and retaining your workforce. Today, BG Group Place is almost 100% leased. Going into 2009, there was a lot of difficult decisions about what do we do with this building. Uh, we, we looked at stopping it, restarting it later when the economy rebounded, making it smaller, making it cheaper, and ultimately, we stuck to our gun and said, the vision is right. It totally transformed this area. This era, area was, was gone. There's a brand new hotel across the street. There's a residential building underway. There are two hotels on the 
on the books to be built uh, within the two block area in another office building under construction. And right next to the submarine grade door that prevents floodwaters from entering the building from its connection to the tunnel system is a celebration of what was here before. We found something very interesting and, and something that we could tell the story of the block a little bit. Hopefully the success of BG Group Place kind of is a hopefully a testament that says we we either chose right or we were really lucky. In 2013, BG Group Place sold at the price Heinz had originally projected before the downturn, and it received the ULI Houston Development Distinction Award that cited the building for a development effort that has radiated out and impacted the surrounding neighborhood, which includes several historic, important Houston assets now undergoing renovation.